Don't you just hate it when you go to a website looking for some information and then all of a sudden they throw a paywall right at you? I mean, come on. Well, I don't like it any more than you do. All I want to do is find out some information about this cool hike, Thundering Brook Falls in Vermont. Because who doesn't like being outside enjoying nature? Oh wow, what a swamp. And the paywall just keeps throwing me out. I can't scroll down to get the information. So how does one go about getting around those paywalls? Well, that's easy. You just right click and inspect in the web browser, then click on the gear icon below, then scroll down and near there, you'll find disable JavaScript. So click that and then you can scroll freely without getting hit by a JavaScript paywall that comes up. So that's one way of bypassing a paywall. And now I can get all this information about this hike. Another way of getting at that information is through a website called web.archive.org, which basically saves a copy of many websites to its database. And then you can access that information there very easily. And this is also another way of getting around paywalls for other websites as well, such as here, where you may have stumbled upon exclusive content and web.archive.org will get that information for you because it'll have saved a copy of that website without you having to go through the paywall. So that basically is an example of getting at the information that you want. And that's how to bypass paywalls, which is only part one of this presentation. Part two, of course, is how to bypass paywalls for web scraping. So we're going to get into more exciting stuff. You have reached the Stealthy Automation Show. So we're going to be using an automation framework called Selenimace to do some web scraping of the alltrails.com website, which has the paywall. So here's what the script is going to look like. We're going to do from Selenimace import SB, and then we're going to initialize it, and then we're going to set the URL to be alltrails, and then we're going to activate CDP mode, which is a stealthy mode of Selenium base, which lets you bypass bot detection. Then there might be a banner that you click to close. And then we're going to do a search for Thundering Brook Falls, which is the trail I'm interested in finding out about. And then we're going to type that in and then click to search. And then we're going to go through and then we're going to print the description that's there. We're going to scroll to the bottom of the page to trigger the full content loading and then we're going to scroll back up to the top and then once all that is done we're going to take a screenshot and then save the page source so that all this data is there demonstrating that we can web scrape the data get a screenshot and get the page source so let's get started with that we're going to go to the cdp mode folder within selenium base so just Go to Selenium Base, Examples, CDP Mode, and then you can do Python raw trails.py, and then it's going to go to the website. You'll see here alltrails.com. We're going to search for Thundering Brook Falls Trail, and then it's going to go to the site. It's going to then scroll down. You'll see that the paywall comes up, but we're going to hide it. But we need to scroll to the bottom so that all the data loads. And now we've gathered the data here. So you can see here, uh, we've got the description of Thundering Brook Falls. You gotta check out this half mile, you know, long trail near Killington, Vermont. It's a popular area. We're gonna just grab the basic data, the summary of it, you know, highlights include beautiful waterfalls, etc. And then we're gonna grab the reviews, such as here, short hike in good condition. And then we're going to save a few files, such as a PNG image from the website. And we're also going to save the HTML file. So if we go into the file explorer, we can go in here for the PNG. It's going to open that up. Let's expand on that and then increase the size so that we can see that we've got the whole website. So here we go. Thundering Brook Falls. You can see here, we've got screenshots. We've got the description there, what trail goers are saying, etc. Just lots of data. And you can just scroll down, you can see, you know, top trails nearby, etc. And in addition to that, there is also, if we go back up to the downloaded files folder, there's going to be a Thundering Brook Falls HTML file. 
So you can see here it loaded. Let's just refresh that again. And we can scroll and grab the data here as well. So there you can see we're bypassing the paywall because we were able to load the website from a different origin so the regular JavaScript that's there won't load. So that's probably one of the ways that some websites like web.archive.org are able to grab a whole website and drop it on their site without having to trigger a paywall if a user looks at that later. So that is how to do web scraping when there's a paywall. And of course, we already showed you how to bypass it from the regular means. For instance, if you went to the website and then you clicked to disable JavaScript, then you can also scroll down and avoid the paywalls that are there. So yeah, that's Web Scraping 101 for paywalls. The example I showed in this presentation uses a Python automation framework called Selenium Base, which has a stealthy mode called CDP mode, which lets you bypass bot detection and even bypass captures on websites. So of course, this might be the tool that you want to use to get around bot detection, because then websites can't detect you. It's 2025, and most websites still can't tell the difference between humans and non-humans. And in case anyone's wondering, my wife and I did check out Thundering Brook Falls in Killington, Vermont. It's quite a nice area, you know, you got the waterfall, it's fantastic. And if you're gonna be there, you might as well just hike Killington Mountain while you're there because that's probably the main attraction. As a bonus, the lines are much shorter than in Disney World. If you go there in the winter, there's gonna be a lot of skiing for sure. So that concludes this automation show. Check out some of my other YouTube videos and the Slending Base GitHub page for more awesome CAPTCHA bypass abilities. And I'll see you all next time.